another bigger unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing two Nendroids from XX Holic. I am super excited about these. This was my childhood growing up. We have Yuko and Watanuki from X Holic. There's actually another series of Holic, which is which he's kind of based off of. I've never seen the other part of XX Holic because this is Watanuki with the two different colored eyes. But nonetheless, it's still Holic. I grew up with this series. I absolutely adore i actually have a whole complete dvd set on my shelf over there you guys haven't seen if you guys are new actually i should i'm gonna make a video about that coming up for this one i just went to a cool vintage place that i love and they sell old anime and i bought so much my fiance bought for me i'm just so thankful for her because i have a huge collection anyway besides that though we're unboxing these two babies i'm a little disappointed with yuko though she has hardly anything. I think just one extra faceplate. Yeah, she only has technically a total of two faceplates. And she just sits. She can't even stand, which is kind of disappointing. But then again, she does sit in her chair most of the time. But Watanuki, he does quite a bit. Not too, too much, but he has a note on their body. A few little accessories here and there. And I love his upset face because he's so adorable. But anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. These are the illustrations on both of these beautiful boxes, Nendroid 1960 and 1961. Watanuki and Yuko look absolutely adorable. I love the color of the box for each character. It looks so nicely done. I love how Watanuki has the purple while Yuko has the red kind of fitting her with the aesthetic and the smoke and the butterflies. Everything is so far picture perfect. I love these boxes so much. So in Yuko's box, she does have some stickers. These stickers are meant for her little sake bottle, or sake bottle, and I'll show you guys how to put that on later. So going on to Yuko first, she has, again, the one face plate. A bit disappointing because I think she could have had so many cuter ones or better ones, but I'm so happy that she did get this face plate. It's just her when she's drinking and she's enjoying her time, and I love it so much. I'm gonna show you guys each accessory first. So we have the table, or not table, but the chair that she sits in. You could also use this base to put underneath the chair, but honestly, I don't know who would do this. You are a madman, because this takes up so much more space. It's a lot better this way. The details on the chair are absolutely uh, really, really good, really amazing. The paint job on the chair is really good. I love the crescent moon on the back, and I love kind of the details of the uh, cushioning print on the back of the chair. The first pose of Yuko, I really, really like. You can put her in a many other positions. You can move her bottom, her legs side to side, but I think it looks better kind of just having her face forward and it just looks so much nice. This position, which she has holding the pipe and the smoke coming out is honestly really, really cute. I was not expecting it to look as nice as it did. And even her outfit has a lot of detail too with that shiny rose gloss and just everything looks so, so nice. This is her second pose here with her holding her sake and her cup. There is a liquid detail inside of the cup as well. And this is the picture, or not picture, but the sticker, I'm sorry, that I was trying to explain earlier. You do have two of these and you have to place it kind of dead center on the bottle. You want to make sure you're angling at the right position because if you don't, remember the hand goes inside that socket still of her, hand, of her arm and you don't want to have the bottle label not facing the right direction. So make sure you guys have this on really well. And you do have two chances to do this because you do have two stickers. So please be careful when doing this. But this is by far, I think, my favorite pose. I am a little disappointed. Again, it's lackluster. This is honestly all you could put her in. You could probably, if you have some extra Nendroid accessories, maybe you can mix and match and make it look a little different. But this is pretty much all you could do with Yuko. But I love the detail of her outfit and I love the detail of her, her smoking and the pipe. And I just like all the little things about her. The paint job is really nice. Even though it's kind of simple, you do have just burgundy and black and then you have the sash around her waist but even so she just looks phenomenal still i really like the detail of the sake bottle i kind of was frustrated with why good Smile didn't put the label on itself but either way it's still really good next we have watanuki and getting him all assembled so he does again only have two face plates i honestly thought he had more in the illustration i don't know why i thought in the illustration but when they announced him i thought he had three but he only had two also so again he's kind of lackluster in some regards but i love 
Love the expression. I love how he has a whole other extra body piece that you can detach and reattach. This is him when the outfit he wears when he's always cleaning and dusting and poor Watanuki is always working hard to keep her house so nice and clean. He also has this little cap that you put on that's kind of keeping the dust from getting in his hair. It's super cute. So it's pretty easy to put on. You just kind of put them on the side and voila, he's already set. He looks really cute with this on even without the cleaning uniform on. I kind of like the detail. It's not too much going on, but it's still pretty nice to have the whole set together. So this is the first pose of his beautiful queenie. <laughs> I love this so much. I don't know why Watanuki is just that character when he gets mad, you just kind of want to laugh at him because you kind of feel bad. But I love the Nendroid captures that expression really, really well. And I always loved how poor Arno had to do so much around the house to keep Yuko, well not keep her happy, but if you watch the anime, you know. But it's just super adorable. I love the detail of the duster that he's holding and the fact that he's wearing his cleaning clothes. It's just super well done. Even in the back, you can see there that his uniform is see kind of, you can see the uniform behind it, which is a nice touch. I also like this pose, it's really simplistic, this is him in another pose doing, just going to school, his everyday life. I love, love it. It's super simplistic, like I keep saying, but it's also really nice detail, which I'll be showing you guys in a minute. The buttons are really nicely glossed, has a nice metallic paint to it, and the collar you can see the white on top, and even his shoes have a pretty, pretty gloss on it, and his back has a nice gloss as well. It's not really a hard material for the handle. It's really rubbery so it's easy to slip in and off of his hand which I also really like. His second pose, or sorry, third pose, this is him when he's mad. Now, if you guys know, if you watch the anime, Watanuki is always strutting his arms and legs. The art style for a clamp is the characters are really thin and really, really long. So they couldn't really do much i can understand with the nendroid and the expressions and motions watanuki could do so i kind of get why he just has one arm straight and not too many like arm bent you know different directions but i really like this expression because or this motion because he's always when he's angry he's always striding like kind of marching when he's upset and i just think that's super cute how they kind of you could easily do that or recapture that with this nendroid and I just, I don't know, it's just, it's simple, but again, because it's so simple and it still captures Watanuki's character and Watanuki's personality, I feel like this Nendro is still really, really good in that regard. If you're someone who gets, doesn't know, you probably will miss it. But this is the set I finally decided to put them in. I could not help it with having Watanuki with his cleaning clothes and having Yuko with her sake drinking face. I think both are so, so adorable. And it kind of fits the scene, if you know. She is always drinking on her couch. And Watanuki is always cleaning up after her or just cleaning the shop. So I really like how she's instead of her cleaning, he's cleaning and he's upset. I kind of, it fits that scene in my head for when I have them like this. But both androids are absolutely adorable. Both are capture the characters really well, even though they are extremely, extremely lackluster. A lot of androids nowadays are starting to go slower and slower into less accessories, but higher pricing. So that's kind of disappointing. Hopefully that will change in the future. But as of now, that's where we are. But thank you guys again so much for watching. If you haven't already, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.